肝心の窓はどうなんだえー、っとなるほどなほほんこれはそういうことだったんだなな何か分かったのかいや鉄格子があるからさてっきり窓は通れねえもんだと思ってたけど。All right, welcome back everybody to Dongan Ropa 2. Goodbye, despair. So let's continue. Let's do it! First, I need to take a look at the Monokuma file. The victim is Mahiru Koizumi. Estimated time of death is around 3 p.m. The scene of the crime where the body was discovered is inside the beach house at Chandler Beach. 101 pounds? What a biatch. The cause of death is a single killing blow to the head with a blunt instrument. <laughs> There are no other, other conspic. con. <laughs> and no trace of foreign substance such as drug. Cons conspicuous. <laughs> ah! Around 3 p.m., the that's the time Kazuichi and I arrived at the diner. Then, if we had just gone to the beach house instead. No, not, now's not the time to feel regret. I need to focus on doing as much as I can right now. And then I'm going to find out the truth behind this. That's the only way the rest of us can survive. So let's just go from left to right. What is this? This is suspicious, I think. Did you find some sign of. kind of clue? Hold on. You know the footprints from earlier? They were in front of the entrance facing the beach, right? Oh,、uh, that. Hajime and Kazuichi's footprints show that you guys were the first ones to go inside the beach house. These footprints are just the opposite. They're coming out of the beach house. Now that you mention it, I thought those footprints were strange too. You did?、Uh... At first, I tried to go into the beach house from the door facing the road. But it didn't open. So I went around and tried to go from the beach side. You couldn't go on the ro roadside door because Mahiru's body was blocking it, right?、Mm. And that's when I noticed the footprints. The footprints leading from the beach house to the tunnel look like they belong to one person. That's easy, we know who it is. I mean, we saw her running. Someone's footprints leading out of the beach house. That's definitely suspicious. Huh? Now that you mention it, Pekko said she went for a little swim, right? Could those footprints be? Yeah. Unfortunately, I went swimming to scout the first beach. I don't know anything about this beach. Is that really true? But these footprints lead straight from the beach house to the tunnel. Since I was swimming at the beach, of course my footprints would lead from the shore to the tunnel. Then whose footprints are these? It's no mistake that they're the killers, but I have no who clue who that might be. <sighs> well, for now, I think it's obvious this is a clue, don't you think? Yeah, it's probably an extremely important clue. Footprints on the beach has been added. Yay! I don't know if that brings us outside yet, so we'll just continue here. Maybe there's a clue inside the trash can. That's what I thought, but. Hmm. There's only a bunch of empty plastic bottles. I don't see anything that looks like a clue. Guess it's not that easy, huh? Well, <laughs> it clearly is a clue because it went into your brain clue bank, whatever you want to call it. There's a lot of drinks inside the refrigerator, but. 
Compared to last time, I feel like there's less drinks. Did people take a lot of drinks from here? You happen to notice they're all water? Not only that, the only drinks left in here look either sweetened or colored. They look unhealthy. So they have this melon soda here in Japan, and I thought I would love it, but I actually hate it. It is so sweet. It's it's too much. Hmm. I will never forgive killing. Shikashi. Jackie seemed quite different from her usual self. She must feel very strongly about killing. I think anyone would. It's not just Chiaki. There's no way anyone would forgive someone. Hajime! You and me! Same brain! I guess you're right. According to the Monokuma file, the fatal blow was de dealt to Mahiru with a blunt object. That blunt object is this metal bat, right? Huh. This metal bat. It's the same as the Twilight Syndrome murder case. Huh? There's a girl named Girl E who was killed in this game during the fourth day. Huh. Huh. Doesn't look similar. The girl was killed with a blow from a metal bat, just like Mahiru. No, no. Did you also play that game, Hajime? Is that why you're curious about the metal bat? Yeah, that's exactly it, but... Did you play it too? Obviously, since she... Then I'm sure you know this, but... This case is strongly connected to Twilight Syndrome murder case, I think. In order to solve this mystery, you need, probably need to solve that game's mystery too. But even if you solve the game's mystery, all the clues in it were lousy and useless. Down five, Hajime! I mean, it started ambiguously, and it was still ambiguous when it ended. That's because you haven't beaten the game. Down five, Hajime! Beaten? I finished the game with a game over, but you were able to beat it? Uh, I'm not some girl gamer who talks about video games she's never beaten. So what am I supposed to do to actually beat the game? Down five, Hajime! <laughs> Stupid. But for now, I should focus on the investigation. I mean, let's be fair. So it's okay to say this metal bat bit, bat, bat <laughs> is absolutely the murder weapon, right? <laughs> let's be fair. The game can't give you the clues from the Twilight Murder Syndrome because then it would be too easy to figure out what's gonna happen, right? So I get it, but it's still funny because like, come on! Down five, only someone who has never played video games before in their life, maybe. And I can't picture Hajime as a, he's a normal high school boy. The closet door is half open. The last time I came here, it wasn't the case. It's a little suspicious. I should probably investigate inside here, too. Why, yes, you should. Marukuma? This is pretty spacious walk-in closet. But there's so much crap on the shelves and floor, only one person could stand in here. But if you think about it this way, it means it's possible for only one person to stay in here. Alright, first things first. Monokuma! I knew it! The other one's probably in the shower. <laughs> Suck it, Monokuma doll. There's a lot of stuff jammed onto the shelves, even surfboards and a surfboard case. But they're not put away properly at all. Two boards are stuffed onto one shelf, and some boards have been left out instead of being put back in the case. And there's also an empty surfboard as well. Jeez, how careless. Go meh. Huh? There's something on the floor. Gumi. The yellow thing is a gummy candy. 
Finding candy on the floor in a place like this is clearly unnatural. He's not in his natural habitat. If it's connected to the incident, did someone drop this while they were inside the closet? That's the only thing that caught my eye inside this closet. That's a very fat gummy bear. Just saying. And phone rotation devices, snorkels, nets, there's also paint supplies. Not much that could be related to the incident. I found you, bear! Alright. Through the bloodstream. There's blood stains on the floor, and those streaked as if she crawled through them. They're probably streaked from, man, from when Mahiru tried to run away during the attack. So she used all her energy to crawl away, and took her last breath as she was leaning against the door. Oh my god, there's too many circles for me to understand oh. where the circles are going. That's weird. What do you mean? Uh, well, I wanted to calm myself a little, so I thought about getting a drink from that refrigerator. Oh, yeah. When I opened it a few days ago, I'm pretty sure there was a large variety of drinks. Uh, uh, well, I guess I'm just imagining things. I mean, who cares about drinks right now, huh? No! Dude, you're onto it! What are you talking about? Huh? Seriously, it's okay. I've resolved it on my own. Just drop it. What the heck? You started it. As Conan would say, every detail is a detail. I don't know if he would say it specifically that way, but you know. Right, I'm not even, I'm not even gonna click that button because it's just like so many circles. My you, my my This is too weird. Something this weird shouldn't leave me happen in song lyrics. Well, she's not useful. She... Huh? What's this? A mask? Did someone bring this from the toy section in the supermarket? Or maybe party goods? Regardless, why is this even here? Did the killer wear that to conceal their face? No. No, they totally stand out. I mean, it's such a gaudy mask. A gaudy mask? <gasps> that mask! You've seen this? <laughs> Sandwich Esper Ito! It's a super fun anime with viewership surpassing 90% in my country! How big's your country again? An anime that has a viewership of over 90%? Is Sonya's country really alright? Masaka! Could it be? Was that mask placed next to the body? Yeah? If that's true, could it be? Could it be what? Um, please give me some time. I like how they do this to kind of pay homage to the first, like, game. For reasons unknown, Sonya rushed out of the beach house. What's with her? It looks like she knows something. If that's... I wait until she decides to talk about it. It. For Sonya to be so worked up, it must be something. I wonder what she knows. She's lost all life in her body. It's as if she's... a shell. Is this really the energetic Mahiru I knew? I see her laying in front of me, but I... I, I still can't believe it. I can't connect this lifeless body to the high-spirited Mahiru. But... We don't have time to wallow in sentiment. There's no way I can just stand here. I slapped both hands under my cheeks and faced Mahiru's body one more time. Mahiru's leaning against the beach house door that leads to the road. If she leaned onto the door like this, it would have been impossible to open. Maybe Mahiru tried to run away when she was attacked and tried to crawl to the door? 
Evidence can be seen in the bloodstains on the floor. They're streaked as if she crawled through them. So she used all her energy to crawl away, leaned against the door, and took her last breath. For someone as headstrong as her to run, she must have really felt desperate. Mahiru was leaning against this door, so I couldn't open it. Okay. So this is the shower room. There's a notice on the door. Judging from the illustration, it looks like it's being repaired or under construction. Something like that. <laughs> That's right! The shower's being repaired so the water doesn't come out! But what about hot water? Well, that's impossible too! If the shower's out of order, then isn't just a, just a waste of space? I'm sorry! Just when I was planning to fix it, my magic stick was taken away from me! So I never got around to it. What the heck? What does your magic stick have to do with repairing? You must have read my mind. Think what you want of me. I've already given up. I don't like mommy. But let me tell you one more time. As long as you guys work together, you should be able to stand against any kind of despair. I promise I will help with that. What help? You're doing the opposite. Oh, well, anyways, it looks like the shower room's definitely out of order. But I guess I should check the inside, too. This is a really nice, spacious shower room. If it's this huge, you could use it as a dressing room. But changing in the beach house is forbidden. Jeez, what an amusable rule. First, first things first. Oh, I can't even look up and down in here. Hmm. Guess no one's in here. I was thinking the killer was hiding in here after they failed to escape. It wouldn't be that easy. There's a toilet, but you can't really use it as a step stool. There's a window. It's small, but maybe you can crawl out of it somehow? Well, it probably doesn't mean anything if someone can crawl through it. But I can't seem to take my mind off of it. What a sexy window. However, this <laughs> ceiling is really high, so that window is also situated in a very high place. It's so high, if I, even if I stretch my hand up, I can't reach it. It's probably about nine feet up. And not just that, it's an iron barred window. If that's the case... Yep, it'd be impossible to go in and out through there. What? Are you still thinking about that window? Yeah, I was thinking the killer might have escaped through there. Alright, I got it. I'll pitch in and help you out. Huh? Come on, give me a pig back rat. I'll check the window for you. Pitch in and help? Feels like I'm the one who's pitching in and helping. 
If you don't hurry up, I'll punch you. She's really into this. No matter what I say, it's not gonna matter. Fine, I'll just leave it to you. <laughs> don't worry, my panties are clean. Now I'm worried. Now I'm worried. I let out a deep sigh and bent over un under the window. All right! As she shouted, Akane jumped onto my shoulders. <laughs> Man, <laughs> she's heavy too. Oi, balance is not good. More to stay to hum ba re te. O, o mae te. O motta yori omo in da na. Oh, kin niku shitsu ka. Massage suru tabi ni kin niku no katamari da na te iwareru zo. Massage te trainer to ka iru no ka. Sasuga chou koukou kyu no taisou bu te iwareru dake no. Trainer ja ne yo. ギリの母ちゃんの愛人たちが酔っ払うと全身マッサージしてくんだ I shouldn't have asked no で肝心の窓はどうなんだえー、っとなるほどなほほんこれはそういうことだったんだなな何か分かったのかいや鉄格子があるからさてっきり窓は通れねえもんだと思ってたけどほら、見てみろよみ、見てみろってちょっと待って、やってみるから With the cane on my shoulders, I craned my neck so high that I started to worry I like how the window looks completely different in this CG ガッチリ止められてるわけじゃなくて簡単に開け閉めできるみてえだぞほら、頭も楽に通っちまうじゃあその窓から出入りするのは不可能でも何でもないってことかまあなっ<笑> Akane jumped off my shoulders and flashed a wide grin <laughs> Isn't this a big discovery? But the problem is how are they able to reach the window? Mm -hmm. Hmm, even if I can't I jump I really can't reach it <laughs> But if two people work together like us, it wouldn't be a problem, right? If that's the case, it would mean the killer had an accomplice. Huh? Accomplice? Sounds like some kind of big word. Is that the name of Kung Fu Master? See, she even... But even if there was an accomplice, the person acting as the step stool would still be inside. But if you really think about it, just one person could get out of here without help, right? Huh? Really? Yeah, like... A freaking ninja could do it, you know? A ninja can climb fences and walls no problem, right? Close. Hmm. Just so I thought it looks difficult to go in and out through that window. But what the heck? And I even took time to lend you my wisdom. That's good. You're the one who said it was suspicious, so I took time to pitch in and help. Oh man, uh. such a waste of time to help you out. All you saw were my panties. I didn't see your panties. No, do I care? No, I didn't. <laughs> well, it's not like it's the end of the world. I'm telling you, I didn't look at it. It's not like she even cared. At the very first beach scene, she was like, I'm not gonna get a swimsuit because... And she just was gonna strip naked. I guess that's pretty much everything I noticed in the shower room. I guess I finished investigating all I can. But there's still not enough. Just from the clues here, I don't think I have enough to find the truth. Looks like I should try investigating that again to find out why Mahiru got killed. Mahiru. Twilight Syndrome murder case. Girl E was killed in that game by a single blow from a metal bat. Oh, they hate my weird voices. <laughs> metal bat. The same weapon that was used to kill Mahiru. And there's no way that's just a coincidence, right? 
In truth, this game's theme is a missing link. You know, it's a recurring theme from Mysteries, right? It's kind of like a hidden connection. Missing link. If that's the killer's motive for the killing this time... ...then that mystery must be hidden inside that game. Plus, the person who might know about that mystery is standing right next to me. Not, not right next to you, but, you know. I should ask her about it. Nice! Oh, okay, so that is just leaving. It's not the same with the footprints. Hey, Chaki, I have something I want to ask you. Are you okay right now? <sighs> Are you done investigating here already? Yeah, I'm super quick. Quick. I'm the famous high school detective. Huh? I think I... Then let's go. Go? You want to know about Twilight Syndrome, right? Then I think you should actually play it yourself. So let's go! Yeah, yeah. With Jackie leading, I left the beach house. And headed over to Jabberwock Park, where the unsettling arcade machine was placed. Alright, so we're gonna stop that there for today and continue next time. Because I'm hungry and I need some lunch. It's about 1pm here. So thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure to like and subscribe, and I will see you later. Au revoir!